Cash for trash. Cash for trash. Get on it. Ka-ching. We're here to take your crap. Ka-ching. Hi, I'm Billy Trash, and this is Tracy Cash. Alongside our recycling expert and second-hand dealer, Paul Hogan, we take your trash and we turn it into cash. We go anywhere. The back roads, the side streets, you'll never know who you're gonna meet. Oh, yeah. So we find trash and we turn it into cash. Oh, yeah. Is it cash or is it trash? You'll find out. It's 100% profit with all the items we find. That's right, 100% profit. There it is, ka-ching! We go in any weather. Rain, hail, sleet or shine. We're out there looking, searching for that special something. We can flip for cash. Here we are, Trace. We're up at Healsville Sanctuary. We're up at the, uh, the crack of crack of dawn. Morning, Bill. <laughs> Good morning. Well, here we are, Healsville Sanctuary. Mm, so, so what a beautiful part of the world Healsville Sanctuary is. Absolutely, it's very serene here at the moment. The sun's just breaking. It's been quite foggy this morning, but uh, we're in for a hot one. Uh, hence the reason why we're up early. And um, look, I just want to say to all those people, especially those interstate and Victorian viewers, while we've got the COVID thing, it's a good idea to get out to the Hillsville Sanctuary and have a look at all the wonderful animals. I mean, they have some magnificent, they have all the marsupials, all the, all the indigenous animals to Australia. So these, this is the place to come, guys. Absolutely. It wasn't that long ago I actually filmed a numbat here, if you can believe it. Yeah, beautiful little animal, yes. dineural, which means it's up during the day, which makes it endangered. But there you go. There's my David Attenborough for the day. Who would have thought? <laughs> More importantly, it's time to get on the pick because mm. I've just had a little bit of a scout trace and there is just bucket loads of stuff. It's, it's a bonanza. That's what we're looking for. A real good pick, Bill. All right, so, uh, without further ado, let's get on it. Let's get on it. See you out there, viewers. Cash for trash, get on it. <laughs> He's a natural. Let's get on it. Let's go, Come on, guys, come with us. Now, first of all, the first thing I can see, Trace, I love this. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> I don't know if you could read that, viewers. That says, sit wherever you deserve. Is it? Here, Trace, what's your thoughts on this one? Trash. <laughs> Pure and oh, simple. There trash. There you go, guys. Sometimes it's cash and sometimes it's just trash. And I mean, it is hard rubbish. I mean, make no mistake, guys, but I'll tell you what, you hang around. We'll find something. Don't worry. We always do. Okay. All right. No worries. Here you go. So we've got a little one there. We'll put that aside. I'll put this aside. Oh, thanks, Ho. You take that. And um, look, sorry, we've got two. Look at that. Two of them. There you go. All right, fantastic. All right, viewers, Trace is already off. Let's follow her. Let's go and see the next one. All right, the old saddleback chair. I'll tell you what, Trace, how many people have thrown out a saddleback chair? How many? Probably one in three. <laughs> It's like, it's like in the UK, they've got one in, one in 50 have got COVID. Well, one in three people in Australia have thrown out a saddleback chair, I think, in their time. They actually were good when they were new and usable. In the 80s at the old bar inside we've the house? Few, we've had a few, Bill, and um, sold them quite successfully. But have these they? ones are well past their day. Okay, we're going to give these ones a miss. All right, well, anyway, look, that's a, the saddleback chair. Very good in the 80s, but uh, we don't live in that anymore. All right, here we go. Um, oh, here we go. What do we got here? Let's have a look. Now, I'll tell you what. A little camp chair for a little fella. Look, that's a, that's a full lie down one, that one. Hey? Eh? What do you think? What do you think of that? What do you think of that? What do you think of that? Hoax, that's a big that's a big thumbs down. What a beautiful part of the world this is. And while we're here, we're going to show you all the wineries. 
we're going to show you the beautiful countryside and all you Victorians while you're in COVID, this is a fantastic time to get out and have a look at your own state. That's what it's about and Healesville should be on one of your top of your lists. Okay, so here we go, we're going to keep going and we've got another pick here, so we're going to check this out. This one is for, uh, now Trace, what do we got here? Let's have a quick look. Is there anything here? Oh, hang on. We got the Crofton. No. We got the no. Crofton. No. And I think <laughs> with COVID at the moment, it's always best not to be using someone else's cooking equipment. But I'll tell you what, that's not made in China. Have a look at that. Made in Italy. Trash. Trash for those, okay. And hey, look, I'll tell you what, Trace. You know those people that make those um, eagles and they make, um, you know, Ned, yeah, Ned Kelly. The rusty iron stuff. Yeah. Yes. Now have a look, have a look Garden at this. Art. Uh, garden art. Now have a look at this here. Look at this. We've got the, someone's already had a go at this Far for a bit of garden art. Garden art. You know what? Rio. Here's another thing, guys. All you aspiring young welders that want to get into a bit of, get into the arts, do a bit of garden art, become a, you know, a creator of, and, you know, you got it all here. An artist. An artist, yeah. And some some people have called me a bullshit artist. But that's another sort of artist. We'll talk about that later. Now here, as I said, you you could make I, I can see I'm envisaging I'm envisaging something um I don't know, I, I think we could make um the new entrance to Healesville out of this. There's a bit of an engine thing here. Engine block. Alright. I don't know if that's worth anything. It's obviously not going to make the car run. Here, let me hold the microphone for a change. I'll tell you what. I don't that's, know what it is. It's that's sort got of a like bit of a, weight in it, Trump. It's It's sort of like a it looks like, it looks like shafty a... diff manifold something something. It's a gearbox, actually. It, it's a gearbox. Is there, is I knew that, that. Is that worth? Is that worth it, Hoax? No. No. He's saying no. All okay. right, moving All right. on. Okay, moving on. All right, let's go. Oh. Can we do it down this way, Trace? Yes. All right. Oh, God, it's just everywhere. All right, so here we but are. But it is trash. Yeah, yeah. So, it's all right. Anyway, it's, it's worth a look because yeah, you never know always, what you, you might know. find. You never know what you're going to find. You never know. Oh, nice new house across the road. Yeah, lovely. Must be a nice street then. Yeah, all right. Now, we're, we're making our way back to the pick now, Trace. That guy is telling them about what we're doing. That's the middleman. He's got dress in his finest. His Crocs, his Hawaiian shirt, and his baggy shorts. Is this the metal man? Yeah. Right, okay. Well, we'll see if we can get an interview with the metal man. Trash for trash. Trash, trash, trash. Time for the Hoax Report. <laughs> Evening viewers and welcome back to another edition of the Hogs Report. Well tonight, I'm just going to tell you about a, a little pick I was out on myself and uh, I drove through this court, it was it was uh, a booked, not booked, uh, uh, annual hard rubbish so there's piles everywhere so I'm having a bit of a troll and just out of the corner of my eye, it happens all the time, just out of the corner of my eye I saw this top of this box with a bit of glistening and I went, stop, have a look at that, jumped out because there's other people around. And I'll tell you what I found. I found this. I found this. It's a genuine, genuine angel vampire collectible puppet. Got it home. Came into the shed. Jumped on the net. Researched the hell out of it. I've had it for a while. I was gobsmacked then. I've had it for a while. I just researched it again just before we came to report to you and lo and behold it's now worth selling on eBay $449 bucks. Four, $449 so I'm going to put that out put that up on uh, on eBay and I'll um, let you I'll, I'll let you know how it goes. Well, thanks again, viewers, for tuning in to the Hoag's Report, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers. And out of the corner of my eye, I found this. Do it a billy. <laughs> Do it a billy. Do it a billy. <laughs>
<laughs> That's really not good with the Nimbin behind it. The hillbilly clap. All right. There she is. All right. Hello, everyone. We're out here at Heelsville at Pick One. Let's get on it. Let's have a look, Trace. The sun's out now and it's quite warm. It's got a bit of bite. So we're going to do a bit of a walking pick uh, just in this street, just because it's a bit quicker and easier than getting the equipment in and out of the car. And um, uh, stay with us and we'll see what we can find. There's a few poles here. Fingers crossed we find a treasure. Cash for trash. Get on it. This is Keith. We've just met Keith up here in Heelsville. Now, Keith, you're known as the metal man. Can you explain why? I love my scrap. I love pulling stuff apart. And, yeah. So I've you been get, for years. Yeah, have you? Yeah. How long have you been um, out there uh, pulling metal and scrap and, and making money out of it, yeah, Keith? In the 80s. Wow. You've been doing this since the 80s. Yeah. yeah. yeah that I is... It's a work of a recycle plant in Lilydale. Did you really? Yeah, they just go, just go to landfill for years. So yeah. six years quick on there. So what do you do when, once you get these pieces, Keith? Where do they go? For you? A transfer station or something? Yeah, just for scrap yards at Wandon. Okay. And what, what sort of time. money What sort of money is it per tonne? What, what, what is it at the moment? What's the going rate? Well, clean copper now at Wandon is about seven fifty. A clean bright and shiny wire. Right, eh? Copper, yeah. Kilo. Yeah. Kilo, yep. Right. $4.50 for brass, plumber's brass. Yep. Uh, oh, well, that's, that's absolutely brilliant, Keith. Yeah. Yeah, I collect batteries and all that. That's what I mostly do here because I'm near the batteries here. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I've got, got about three and a half tonne batteries. And what do, you, what do you do with the batteries? I just uh, sell them, but the market's down because nothing's getting moved much, really. So they're right down, so I'll keep them until they go up again. Oh, okay, fantastic. Yeah, yeah. So you're collecting... Because you can't put non hard rubbish or that. Can't run in the bins. Okay, okay. So a lot of people get, are getting, yeah, getting all for nothing. People are wrapped. Is that the yeah. lead out of the batteries, Keith? Is that what that comes from? Yeah, or? but I'm, I, I get the... You're better off just getting the whole weight. A lot of people do strip them for make sinkers. Yeah, oh, to make sinkers for yeah. fishing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. But I'd rather just... I'll leave, all the, leave it all together, get more weight. You know what I mean? With all that acid and water that's in it and that. Good and recycling you, get, yeah, you are. Yeah. I love it. It's fantastic. Yeah. I love um, split systems. I love pulling them apart and all that. Oh, yeah, look, yeah. look, Keith, it's people like Keith, guys, viewers at home, that go out there, find these things, put them on, you don't put them on eBay or anything, no, you take no, them straight no, to the, no. have you got an area that store all this stuff? Yeah, at home, yeah, 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 it's all at home. Okay. Work terrific. at home, get in the back of the shed and do all the wire and all that, pull transformers apart and... Yeah. So you're up early this morning too, Keith. What time do you get I up? I slept in this morning. Oh, you slept in, okay. So you, this is your first yeah, yeah. pick, is it? No, I've been around the last few days. I okay. walk around, all the way around Hillsville. Yeah, Fantastic. Yeah, Fantastic. yeah, just cut all the wire like this. Just cut all the wire. And, oh, wow. But I, yeah, because I've got no licence, so... Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. righto, righto. So I get a lot of people, plumbers and all that, they give me, you know, split systems or wire or that. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Well, look... Thank you very much, Keith. I just want to say thank you to all the viewers at home. Cash for Trash is all about making money out of nothing. Yeah, you can make money, all right. Yeah, yeah, you can. You can. Some good stuff get out there. That's wonderful. Better than getting crushed. Absolutely, and going to landfill, yeah, yeah. isn't it, Trace? That's it. That's it. Yeah, that's what we're all about too, isn't it, Bill? So good to, good to meet another recycler, Keith. It's really good. Good for our environment. We've got Keith the metal man here, very famous around the hard rubbish circles. And we're very lucky to have Keith here today. We were just on the pick and we've seen him at Hillsville. We're up before the Sparrow Farts this morning, aren't we, Keith? Yep. All right, well, look, thank you very much, Keith, and um, good luck with all your picking and your hard rubbish. No worries. Well done. Thanks, mate. Thanks, Keith. There's Keith. See, everyone knows Keith. Everyone knows Keith. Here he goes. See, someone else has got some stuff here, and they just know Keith. They've come out. This gentleman, he's come out, and he's just there, and he's just signed, Keithy, you grab something here for me because you can make a few bucks there. That's wonderful. Would it be useful for Keith, he says? Would it be useful for Keith? That is fantastic. Well, look, we're just making a little show for Channel 31 for called Cash for Trash. Do you mind being on film? He doesn't mind, do you? As long as you don't have to speak. <laughs> well, unfortunately, sir, you already have. Oh, yeah. yeah, go on then. <laughs>
Well, look, well, look. What's your name? Sorry. Jeff. Jeff. Well, Jeff. I'm I'm Billy Trash, and this is Tracy Cash. Oh. And Hogs is over there, and we've got the crew here now. Jeff, we've just caught up with uh, with Keith. with Keith the metal man, and you're you're here, and you've come out and just said, Keith, could you use this? I knew we could. <laughs> so what is it exactly that you've just given Keith in here in his hand? So it was a mortar off um, a water pressure hose cleaner. Okay, fantastic. And where do you know Keith from? Just around the traps? He's, yeah. So he's the metal man. He's very, he's very famous, isn't he, really? In, in, this, in this genre. Uh, well known, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> Cash for trash. Cash for trash. Get on it. Time for some live auction action. <laughs> Come play with me. Come play with me. Come play with me. This week's going far. Evening viewers and welcome back to another edition of Live Auction Action. Well tonight we're going to auction off this little radius burner. Okay, it came in a little box like this. This is a, this is a, a find that Billy happened to find directly across from his place. With You might remember with the wheelbarrow that we got 60 bucks for down at Hunted. Anyway, this is a little radius burner made in Sweden. And we stuck this down at Hunted and there's, there's the ticket for there's the ticket viewers. This is one of our tickets from Hunted. We had it sitting down there in the cabinet for, put it up for a hundred bucks, hundred bucks, and we got no bites. So we thought we'd bring it home, we'd chuck it up on eBay, and see what we, see if we can get a bid. So I thought I'd do a do a quick three-day auction, chuck it up on eBay, well bang straight away within half an hour of putting it on onto eBay, bid thirty-five bucks. Brilliant. Then next day, so I went to day two, another bid. 50 bucks. 50 bucks views. We couldn't get a hundred for it at Hunted, but we thought we'd try it on eBay and we're up to 50 bucks. It's hard rubbish views. It's cash for trash. Right? So it comes down to now, right? We're only about two minutes out from auction finish. We've got five viewers and we've got two bids. One for 35, one for 50. There's five people watching this auction viewer, so let's see what happens, okay? So I'll just grab it here. And there it is. There's, there's what we put it up for. We're not gonna get that. Well, we might. We might viewers, you never know. Anyway, it's a little Swedish radius burner. We've got uh, three minutes to go. <laughs> Bang! Another bid! Another bid! Wow! Up to 90 bucks! 90 bucks viewers! Mate, that 135 is looking pretty good. We couldn't get 100 for it at 100, but wow, we're up to 90 bucks. Well, are we down to the last 30 seconds? Will we get another bid? I don't know. Will we get another bid? Oh! Another bid! 120! 120 bucks viewers! That is cutting! Two. Done. Auction done. 120 bucks. Now that is. Where is it? Where is it? Where's my kaching? <laughs> there it is. Kaching. Kaching. Wow. What an episode of live auction action viewers. Wow. 120 bucks. Hard rubbish. That is cash for trash. And we'll catch you next time on live. Auction action. That's cash for trash. That is grouse. We're at pick two. Now on pick one, we found this, didn't we, Trace? We did. Nice lamp. And on venturing down the pole, we see that the cord cutters had been here prior to us collecting this lamp. Quite a nice lamp, actually. 
Um, so I don't know, but um, I think Hogs will be able to put a new call on that, and yeah. we should maybe get fifty for he's that. The metal man, the cord cutter, the cord he's cutter. He's been here before us. <laughs> <laughs> and what an absolute champion character. he is. What character. a character, what a champion. He's out there, he's not wasting his time in his life. He's getting out there, he's just walking around, he's picking up stuff, he's, he's trying reusing, to... Reusing, recycling, repurposing. Let's have a look at this one here. What do you reckon? Let's get into it. Oh, look, I'll tell you what we have got here. We've got a bit of... Oh, look. We've got some... We've got some... Um, some corrugated iron, some roofing. This I could make a house with. I could make a house with that. I could make a house with that. This is the thing. This is the only country in the world where they throw this stuff out and you could go around and you could make a house. You wouldn't, look, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be that flash. It just amazes me what we do throw out. It's just amazing. Now we've got here too, guys, we've got a toaster. All right, but again, someone's cut the cord off. The cord cutters have been around here too, Trace. It's, yeah, the Keith Cutter, so Keith has cut the cord off that one. He's doing a community service there. This is what we call, this is what we call a walk and pick. We call this a walking pick. So we just, we just go from one to the next to the next because there is so much out there, I don't even know where to start. All right, so now look, I'll tell you what, Trace, you're an avid, you're an avid cook. What do you think of the Japan cooking course? Is that worth, is that worth a look? Is it a woman's weekly? No. But By anyway. editors of the Consumer's Guide, that's got a little bit of that's got a little bit of life to it. Bring that camera up here, guys. Look, we've got the Japan. What's this? What to eat if you don't have yeah, meat? Um, here's this one. Top ten San Francisco. Not that anyone's going to San Fran anytime <laughs> no, soon. Oh, wicked. When that could be a collector's item. <laughs> it certainly could be. Yeah, I think it traces in referencing all the cases in America at the moment. But, but you might need oh, to read that. Insights, insights for a new way of living. Oh, I was just going to say, Trace, that might be up your alley, this one. But let's have a little read here. Um, hit and run relationship begin more common in our society like ours has grown more rootless. Well, I'll tell you what, I think there are a lot of relationships out there that are very rootless. The lamp's a winner. The lamp's a winner. We'll chuck a new cord on it. And easy 50 bucks. I think we've done well. I think we've done very well. Books. Um, we've had a bit of a look. We've grabbed a few books. That's really been the only thing out of this pick. Oh, and on the lamps. Yeah, yeah. You mentioned that, didn't and, you? And um, meeting a, a community-minded <laughs> recycler. Yeah. Or collector. Keith the Metal Man. Keith the Metal Man. Well known around the hard rubbish circle parts, or isn't he? Especially it? around here, because he doesn't have a license. That's right. That's right. He doesn't have a license. He gets his coal bags, mate, and just goes walking the streets. He's not. He's not sitting around waiting for things to happen, no. is he? Keith's out there making a difference mm. to his life, to what's going on, and I commend him. I commend Keith. Well done, Keith. Well done, mate. From Cash for Trash, Billy Trash. Well done. All right, Trace. Let's get off to the next one. Let's go. Next one. Oh, right, see you in the next one. Bye. And we have another beat. Two minutes at six seconds left. Another beat. And another beat. Oh, oh, 142. Come on, where's my ka-ching? Ah, oh, there it is, ka-ching! Ka-ching! And thanks for appearing on Cash for Trash. Happy diggings. <laughs> Cash for Trash, love it. Oh, there it is, Kachi! Kachi!